people. Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Day. I hope you had a fun and safe New Year's. Also, um, Happy Merry Christmas because I didn't get to tell you guys Merry Christmas. So Happy Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy 2023, Happy all that. Um, here are some clips of uh, the holiday festivities, just some short clips that I did spending time with family and friends. Yeah, so crew scheduling wasted no time and assigned me a trip starting today, New Year's Day. It's a five-day trip. Um, I just commercialed on Alaska Airlines, five and a half hour flight, non-stop, Las Vegas to Anchorage. It is currently 10.45 p.m. right now. Uh, we have a 41 layover here, 41 layover, 41 layover, 41 hour layover here. And then we're going to work um, Anchorage to Guam and then lay over there and then go on back to here and then my schedule ends here so um yeah so what a way to start off the new year um in the snow it is nice and snowy y'all it's about 30 degrees and then we're gonna go work a flight over to sunshine um balmy weather hopefully uh but let me get my room settled and then I'm probably going to eat something. I brought some food because I knew that we were going to get here late at night. So things are not open. Um, and then relax, go to sleep. And then in the morning, i um, planning to probably meet some crewmates for breakfast. Oh yeah, and then this room you guys seen before. But I'll just do a quick spin around to refresh your guys' memory. It's a cute room. So there's always Mr. Moose that greets you when you come in the door. And just your sink, bathroom, and bedroom area. And I like how they have this long countertop area. You can put all your stuff. And then I will show you guys the view in the morning. And it is currently 8 a.m. in the morning. Good morning, guys. Can you believe that? That's 8 a.m. right now in Anchorage. It's still dark. Um, just got up. Gonna meet a crewmate downstairs for breakfast. Can't pass up free breakfast. And the breakfast here is pretty good. So i um, just gonna head down to breakfast. And then, I don't know, probably gonna crawl back into bed right after. Alright guys, it is about 10.30 a.m. I got back from breakfast a little while ago. Um, I just had their classic breakfast, eggs, toast, um, reindeer sausage, always so yummy. Um, I'm actually going to try and hit the gym. Yes, I said the gym. Um, before I started back work, uh, I was like off for like a month. So did a lot of traveling, did a lot of eating, and when I put my 
uniform back on because I still had uniform pieces from my airline, previous airline. Uh, it was a little tight. Uh, she was a little tight, so I need to kind of lose some poundage. So I'm going to go check out the gym. I haven't been to the gym here, so hopefully they have the... Um, I like to just do the elliptical machine, so hopefully they have that. And um, yeah, since we have, you know, a lot of time here, so might as well hit the gym. And then maybe, you know, outside is all snowy. Maybe go outside and get some shots for you guys or some pictures and stuff like that for you guys to see outside all nice and snowy. So, um, but let me see. Now we can see uh, the sun, because sunrise was like at 10.15. So, you can see what it looks like now. It's a nice wintry morning. Look at the icicles. Here is a shot from the hotel of the lake. So nice and snowy. Yep, that's the lake right there. It's all frozen over. But it's so cool when you can see the planes land. Oh, there. I think there's a plane right there. When they take off and land on the lake, it's so cool. All right, I just did a 30 minute on the treadmill because they didn't have any elliptical, just three treadmills. So just did 30 minutes, got to ease my way back into working out, don't want to break myself, so, yeah. You want to say hi to the vlog? Do you want to be on the vlog? Oh, hey, how Everybody you say doing? hi to Ammon. Or walk Long time like... follower. Just, uh, yeah. happen to meet him <laughs> and run into him in Anchorage. No, it's the, it's the, it's the berries. Yeah, it's the berries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jay, Mr. Uh, CSI. I was like, is it blood? I'm seen. At least it's plowed. Alright, we're just done eating dinner. Yeah. Went to get some Korean food. Good and hot. Get some soup. Yeah. Hot tofu soup. It was perfect for this yeah. weather. Except Aaron was like half dying because he ordered his yeah, one like really I got spicy. It so spicy. <laughs> like off the charts. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, excuse me. Up, up, up! Bleep that out. My foot already, my foot already fell. Yes. The struggle. Oh the struggle man. Struggle in Alaska is real. Is that even gonna work? Let's see. Focus, focus. They're crossing here. Let's just. Is this the crosswalk? I'm so confused. Hey, camera's waking out. Trying to focus. Yeah, it'll change eventually. Okay. What is up, guys? It is the next day and it is time to head to work. It is about 2 15 p.m. Um, this morning, well, first of all, last night I was restless. I didn't get that good of a sleep, um, but I did go down to breakfast at 7 30 a.m. and then I came back to my room and then I was able to get a nap in and I woke up at about maybe I think it was like 11 30 um 12 p.m. and so I just got up um but today so van time is gonna be at 2 45 p.m. we have a 4 45 p.m. departure working to um Guam and then we're gonna arrive into Guam at about 9 45 p.m. the next day Flight time is booked at about 10 hours. We are a crew of nine, and uh, we do have a supervisor on board and four brand new flight attendants who are doing their IOE. So we are gonna be one big happy family. Don't know what the passenger count is, but I'll let you guys know all that details later once I find out. Um, is that everything? So yeah, so let's head to work. Let's head to Guam, and um, I'll see you there. Aloha. And just like that, we are here in Guam. Finally, I am so tired. Um, it is currently 12.15 a.m. Yeah, 12.15 a.m. in the morning. And um, 
flight time ended up being nine hours and 18 minutes, I think, and we had 272 passengers. Um, I worked the L3 position, so I was beverage card, and we did two meal services. Um, smooth flight, smooth flight, everything was all good, and our um, IOEs did really good. But when we got into Guam airspace, um, apparently there was an issue with the runway lights. So we kind of was in a holding pattern for a little bit. So we couldn't land right away. That took like a 20 minutes and then they got that fixed and then we landed and the taxi was a long time. I don't remember it being that long, but we, I saw we taxied forever. Then we got to our parking spot and then we waited and we waited and we waited and then there was an issue with the stairs so yeah we supposed to have gotten here maybe an hour ago but anywho we are here in guam it is a short layover it was 12 hours but now it's probably like 11. um just gonna shower and head to bed get up in the morning get breakfast because you know the breakfast here is so good and it'll just be time to head back to anchorage um, my schedule did get updated so when i get back into anchorage i have a 24-hour layover there and then they're going to commercial me home so i will be home on oh i will get home on friday um but yeah so that's how today went just very exhausted and shower and bed like 7 30 a.m right now and i just forced myself to get out so that i can get some breakfast and then i'm probably going to come back to the room go back to bed and then get up and head to work but good morning from guam all right guys i am back in my room it's about 8 30 a.m um, I did not vlog breakfast because when I got down there, breakfast was, the buffet was kind of busy and then like I just wanted to enjoy breakfast with my crewmates and all that. So I did not vlog breakfast, um, although I had the weirdest combination of stuff. I had like, I know I wanted like oatmeal and fruit and then they had fresh fried fish. So I had to get the fried fish. And um, that's all I got, coffee and some juice. Actually, I didn't even drink my juice now that I think about it. Hmm. Oh, anyways, um, you've seen that buffet a bunch of times. You can go back to my previous Guam vlogs to see that buffet. And yeah, and then of course you've seen this hotel room. But, um, anywho, I'm trying to see, cruise scheduling is gonna call me back, or not cruise scheduling, travel, because I'm trying to see, because my schedule is once I get into Anchorage tonight, or we're gonna get into Anchorage in the morning, like 3.15, in the morning um i was supposed to or i have a 24-hour layover in anchorage and then commercial back to vegas the next day but i'm trying to see if i can just once we get into anchorage um commercial to vegas so that i'll get home a day earlier so traveling is checking on that and i'm gonna call me back so that means i'm gonna waive my rest in um anchorage but they're just checking on that making sure everything is legal and all that so they're gonna call me back and let me know um so yeah so i'll be so i might be getting uh home a day earlier i'm just going to uh, finish like repacking everything because i have to repack it for commercial travel just in case they approve it and so once i get into anchorage i go directly to uh, my commercial flight so i have to make sure my you know big bertha is within weight limit and all that stuff like that because i won't have time to repack her when we get into anchorage um but yeah so i'm just going to probably get another nap in uh, before we have to be downstairs I think van time is at 11 35 a.m so I got like a few hours to chill 
And the weather outside is perfect. Sunny and the breeze is coming in. I like to leave the door open so that the breeze comes in and I can hear the ocean. This is like a perfect chill spot. Of course, if I had more time, I would be out there, but this is nice too. All right, friends, it is almost time to head downstairs. It is 11 a.m. Um, travel did approve my commercial flight home. So once I get into Anchorage, um, I'm gonna commercial on Delta through Seattle back to Vegas and I'll get into Vegas at about 2.45 p.m. Um, so today, uh, for today, the flight departure is at 1.45 p.m. We will get into Anchorage at 3.15 a.m. in the morning yesterday because you know we're a day ahead here in Guam and then my commercial flight is at 6 a.m. Uh, on Delta so yeah so I'm happy I'm going to be home a day earlier um, I know for today's flight the crew that's bringing the aircraft to us um, they are going to we're gonna take over the aircraft and then they're gonna deadhead with us back to Anchorage so we're gonna be one big happy crewmate family um, hopefully there won't be a lot of passengers, so we'll have uh, some uh, lots of wiggle room on the aircraft. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna say goodbye to Guam shortly over, but you know, like I'll be back again. All right, let's head to work. up guys i am back home um yes i still have my tree up but i'm probably going to be taking it down probably tonight or tomorrow i'll see how i feel um i didn't get to vlog when i got back into anchorage um just needed to it was a little hectic because when we landed i needed to get my luggage and do a long walk over to the terminal to get commercialed out so um our flight from guam to anchorage was seven hours 48 minutes and we had 177 passengers so uh, we had lots of room on the aircraft, but there was a lot of us deadheading. There was a whole deadheading crew that brought the plane in. There was a lot of mechanics and reps and yeah, there was just a lot of us. So um, flight was really good. We did two meal services. Um, I wanna say a congratulations to the four IOEs that we had on our flights to and from Anchorage. Um, they all passed, so I wanna say congratulations. Um, it's a big accomplishment, as you know, uh, to pass training especially. Training is, um, our training is one of the hardest in the industry, so you should be uh, feel very proud that you, you know, you made it through and now you're gonna be out there in the skies with me. Um, and it was great working with you guys and who I know will be working with each other in the future. So, um, that was all good. So we got into Anchorage at about 3 a.m. And then, you know, Anchorage was snowy and all that, um, gathered our luggage. There was a bunch of us commercially out. So grabbed our luggage, walked over to the terminal and, um, took a 6 a.m. Delta flight to... Seattle and then Seattle here to Vegas so yes and it is a rainy day here in Vegas um, although the sun started to come out now the rain stopped and the sun came out but um, so all in all this was a five-day trip and it was only two working flights so not too bad not too bad I am on reserve for the next five days and then I go into my off days so I don't know if they'll send me anywhere with it with five days um, we'll see you never know but um, yeah so what a great trip for the uh, new year. This is my first trip of the new year. So um, always a fun time, always a fun time. Got to fly with crewmates, you know, that I've always flown with before. Got to fly with new ones, met new ones. Um, everybody was really nice. So, but gonna end this vlog here and I'll see you on the next one. Aloha.